This unit is a stainless steel stacker rotator. It's designed to lift a range of drums from 200 litre down to 50 litre. In the box at the back here, it is, it's a battery hydraulic unit. So it has battery hydraulic lift, hydraulic clamping and hydraulic ro drum rotating. So the first thing we need to do before we do anything is we're going to pick up this drum and we make sure no one is forward of this position. So it's a single operator unit operated from the back here. It has a, because of the power clamping features, it's very, very important that no one is in that area. First thing we do, we've got a key here, we put the key in and switch the unit on. We have an emergency stop and we need to make sure that's pulled up to activate the unit. So we've aligned our drum pads so these drum pads are set at the mid position of the drum. We can adjust the position of the pads by pressing the lower button or pressing the raise button to bring the pads to the correct level. We then release the brakes at the back of the unit, push it forward. We can steer the unit via this handle at the back so we can steer in to get the pads in the middle position. As soon as the pads are in the correct position so you can visually see them, we press a clamp button at the back of the unit. This brings the clamp into the, the side of the drum. On the back panel here, there's a green segment on the clamp pressure gauge. And what we're doing is we're pressing the clamp button to allow the needle to come up into the green zone. With the needle in the green zone, that tells us we have sufficient clamp pressure to pick the drum up. So before we pick the drum up, I can visually check the pads around the drum. And there's no daylight or gaps between the pads. So grip the drum well. We come back to the control panel. We can see the gauge is in the green, so we're ready to lift. With the drum raised to the position we want, we can then wheel the unit around to the vessel that, where we want to dispense the drum. We then apply the brakes on the back to hold it in position. And then we press the rotate button. We can stop the rotation in any position, so we can increase the tip angle or decrease it. So once the liquid has been dispensed, we press the return button, which brings the drum back to the vertical. As soon as we're back in the vertical, we can lower the drum back down to the floor. As soon as the drum is safely back on the floor, we want to now open the clamp. Now for safety reasons, we have to use two fingers to open the clamp. So there's two unclamped buttons, and it's not possible to do that with one hand. You have to press two buttons at the same time. You'll find that one arm will unclamp first fully, then the other arm will drive itself out. We're now looking at the rear control panel of the unit. First thing we need to do is we have the key here. The key is removable from the unit. So with the key removed, no one can operate the unit. Only trained operators should be given a key. So we push the key into the slot, we turn it to the right, and this will power up the unit. Here we have the emergency stop. If you want to stop any functions, you push that on the top, and now the power is completely switched off to the unit. To reset, we lift up. In normal operation, we wouldn't be using that. We leave that in the up position at all times. So here we can monitor the battery condition. 
It's an LED gauge, we can read how much charge we have in the batteries. So it's looking completely full, so we're fine there. Now, on the left hand side of the panel we have the lift and lower controls. To operate lift and lower, you also need to press the operate button, which is in the bottom right hand corner. So this occupies the operator's hands at the same time. So we're going to lift, so what we need to do is press the operate button down and press the lift button. If we press the lift button without pressing operate, we don't lift and we don't lower. We have to press operate. Now the first thing you're going to be doing is that's setting the height of the clamping band to suit the drum type. The next thing we're going to do is going to be clamping the drum. We do this by pressing this button. We just press this single button to clamp the drum up. As the clamps come together, we'll notice that this gauge here, the needle, will go past the red section, gaining pressure until the needle sits nicely pointing at the green segment. The green segment shows this is the pressure we need to achieve to pick up the drum safely. So we'll do this now. It'll take a while for the, the plaids to actually close before we gain the pressure. Right, that's the clamp fully closed and you can see now we have the correct clamp pressure. Now once the drum has been lifted, it's important we don't unclamp the drum when it's in a raised position and that's why the unclamp feature has two buttons. So the drum must be placed on the floor or placed on a pallet before we unclamp the drum. If we unclamp the drum in the raised position, the drum will fall out. The next feature we have is our power rotate. These are the rotation buttons here. This is rotate forwards. This is rotate back. Rotate forwards. Rotate back. We now place the drum on the floor. So we press operate. Press down. So the drum touches the floor. Now the drum's on the floor. We can unclamp the drum. We do this by pressing the two unclamp buttons at the same time. you notice now the gauge has gone to zero and the drum clamp is fully up and we can release the brakes and move away from the drum. We're now looking at the back panel of the unit. This is where the charging connection is. We use a charging lead like this. It's plugged into the wall at 230 to 240 volts. We open up our lead, plug it into the unit, connect it and set the charger working. It's important when the charger is connected or when the unit's not in use, you actually switch off at the key on the unit. If the key is left on, then it starts draining the batteries down if they're left on for a prolonged period. To disconnect the lead, we lift the top, just wiggle it slightly until it comes out. 